Hey guys, Xdraws here, and I'm going to be playing a free-for-all on Favela. I found out that that is actually the pr the correct pronunciation, not Favela, as I was calling it before. So I kind of feel like an idiot, but I'm just going to move on from it. Um, earlier today, I did post a match, um, a commentary, where I talked about gun reviews and the possibility of me doing them and what you guys would think. So far, I haven't really gotten that many comments about them, but I did get a request for the Model 1887. Um, so, obviously, I've, uh, well, not obviously, but I've never used them before. Um, so I definitely need to try it out. I jumped into a search and destroy to try them out first, because I, I really like search and destroy. That's my favorite game type. Um, so I jumped into a search and destroy. In just one game, I got, like, 11 kills. 10 of them were with these, and it only took those 10 kills, and I got the akimbo. And right off the bat, I got to tell you guys. This is a great gun, alright? This is basically the equivalent of Infinity Ward's decision to put in... Ugh, oh, I'm blanking right now. But the gun that you got at level 52 on Call of Duty 4, that, um... Huh. I'm blanking on it, but you guys know what I'm talking about. If you know what I'm talking about, put it in the comment section. And speaking of comment section, guys, please comment, rate, and subscribe. Um, it hasn't been that while... It hasn't been a long time at all. I've only had my other video up for, like, three hours, and there's already five rates on it and I'm hoping I can get a lot of ratings on it a lot of comments and a couple subscribers off of it and I think like I've said before that's what I do make these videos for I love you guys when you comment rate subscribe it's amazing seriously um, I used to not do it at all and I really did realize how much of a difference it makes and it really does encourage people especially the people who are new to YouTube and I guess you could say that I'm fairly new to YouTube, and I don't have, I have like maybe 55 subscribers right now, and I I'm loyal to you guys. I take every you know request into consideration, like I'm doing right here. Um, so please just be loyal back and comment. It only takes two or three seconds. Rate only takes one second, and um, subscribe that takes half a second. So anyway, this is the um. This is the second uh, match I did with the Akimbos, and this is my third free-for-all game ever. Um, obviously, the shotguns are all secondary weapons, so I was using this gun. And later tonight, I will be uploading a video where I'm using this gun in a new mini-series, and I will not tell you the title of it or what it's about, but I am going to be using this gun in my first episode of it. So make sure to check that mini-series out. It's going to be coming out probably a couple hours after this comes out. So if you're watching this, you know within the couple of hours that this video comes out it's not out yet but it uh, if you're watching this uh maybe a couple of days after i uploaded this make sure to go into my video section and check out the mini series trust me it's totally worth it all right i really uh think it's original and you guys are gonna like it um and obviously if you guys don't like it <laughs> i will not do it but anyway the models great guns right here i do not think i'm going to do a gun review i think this is going to replace the gun review because i'm going to talk about everything i do and don't like about them um and maybe this maybe this isn't going to replace the gun review maybe this is going to be my gun review i guess maybe this is the style i'll take on gun reviews anyway the model it's an old gun like i said the equivalent of a certain gun on call of duty 4 i cannot remember but I love when you got these akimbos. Look, when you shoot somebody, twirls. Love that. Um, so there's a, there is a real good strategy you, you should, um, I, imp I implore you to use. You definitely want to use. When you shoot somebody, when you're going to shoot somebody, you want to shoot with just one of the guns and then re-aim and shoot the second gun. Now, these guns, as everybody should know, um, have some range to them. All shotguns have a pretty far range compared to Call of Duty 4. You can shoot from pretty far away. It's very surprising. So, I really hope you guys, when you try out the shotguns, um, at first I was dying a lot because I was waiting for people to get real close, and then I really figured out that you could shoot from very far with these. Um, but yeah, it's, it's really, it's a fun gun to use. Like, overall, I love using them. But back to the strategy, you want to shoot with one of them first. I usually do, I, I think I do the right one first. Um, it just comes naturally to me. And then you shoot the second one. And if you miss the first one, what that's going to help you do is you're going to be able to re-aim, recalculate how far that person is away. And if you even want to shoot the second one. And I'm not saying take 
two, one or two seconds. I'm talking about a matter of like half a second. And it's going to kind of come naturally. It sounds like a lot to process in just like half a second or maybe just a second. But as you can see right there, I shot one first and then the second one. Um, I'm not sure which order I did it in. But there definitely are times where you're not going to be thinking. You're kind of pa you're going to panic and you're just going to shoot both at once. And if you miss them both, um, because if you're aimed, it's not like one's going to hit and one's not going to hit. Because they both, it's... Um, in the akimbo there is no separate aiming they both shoot in the exact same spot so you better make sure you're gonna hit your target if you're gonna shoot both at once um, the best situations to shoot both at once is when you are you run into somebody and you are directly like in their face or when somebody is running away from you and you've got a shot at their back or they just don't know you're there you're kind of trailing them you kind of find the appropriate range to shoot them you wait till you're in range and then you just pop them in the back it works every single time um, but you gotta get used to the guns before you know exactly what range you got with them so in this free-for-all obviously the shotgun is the primary weapon I mean this is the secondary weapon so I'm gonna have to be switching to this uh, sniper in order to get a lot of my shots I think I actually already mentioned this in this commentary I don't know but um, any any commentary where I'm gonna be using the secondary weapon um, just don't give me any comments about hey you were using the primary weapon because sometimes I just do it naturally and if it's a good gameplay I'm definitely gonna upload it speaking of good gameplay if you want good gameplay on free-for-all here's what I'm gonna tell you all right you ready for the perks now listen I've only played three matches with them and all three matches I've had over like a 10 kill, kill death ratio um, actually no that's not true but I've had a really good kill death ratio in all of them um, at least 3.0 on all of them. Anyway, uh, you want to use the UAV because, in essence, Free For All is eight separate teams. It is eight teams, and it is exactly like the name suggests, it is a Free For All. And the eight teams are eight people. And if you know what I mean, you're the one team, and if you call in a UAV, you're going to expose all seven other teams. And that is extremely useful, all right? Because you need to know where all those people are. You need to know whether they're in front of you, behind you, left, right, whatever. You need to know where they are. And the second one you're going to use is counter UAV. Because counter UAV is going to block all seven of your opponents, all seven other teams' UAVs. And that is so useful, opposed to in team deathmatch or domination, or basically every single other game type where you only block one other team's UAV. Or only, you know, can see one other team on the UAV. Um... Because if you see the team where their spawn is in like a team deathmatch, you're going to be able to know, alright, if I stay here, I'm safe. Like, if I stay on this side of the map, I'm safe. But it's not not like that at all in free-for-all. You've got people constantly spawning on every single side of you, and UAV is a must. There is no... I mean, you could try, but it is very tough to get a nuke in a free-for-all. Um, I think I might try that later. My ultimate goal in Modern Warfare 2, I will quit this game if I can get a nuke in a search and destroy. It is completely possible. Um, there are seven rounds and up to six players you can kill in each round. More, um, depending on if the host fucks up. I mean, people used to get helicopters and search and destroy every so often because it got people could switch teams. But you, you get my drift. If I can get a nuke in search and destroy, I'll be very, very ecstatic. And the same goes for free for all because they are tough gameplays. Tough game modes to play without uh, the UAV and pretty tough without the counter UAV and of course your third kill streak is really up to you for the more novice players I would suggest Predator Missile and for the more advanced players I suggest Harrier Strike or Pavlo but anyway guys this is my review on the Model 1887 um, it's a great gun to use. I suggest you use it. And thanks for watching. Please comment, rate, and subscribe. Bye.